So again, my name is Tony. Welcome to Soul Freaks. Let's proceed on looking at the Air Jordan 36. So what we have here is the Air Jordan 36. So this is the 36 release of Jordan Brand's flagship sneaker. So for the marketing of the 36, they decided to go global. So aside from the colorway that I have in my hand right now, Jordan Brand also released several colorways representing each of their international athletes, including Jason Tatum, Ru Rui Hachimura, and many more. So aside from these sneakers, uh, there will be many more to come. Uh, who knows when and how will they release it? So going back to the sneaker at my hand right now, so this is Luka Doncic's special edition of the Air Jordan 36. So as you can see, the colorway is blue. So basically speaking, the first thing that you thought of is Luka is a player under the Dallas Mavericks. But no, I did mention that the Jordan brand is going global with their promotion of the 36. So the colorway is more of a representation of Slovenia, Luka's home country so as you can see uh, the color the shade of the blue used in this colorway is or was used by Slovenia in the recent 2021 Tokyo Olympics basketball games so you can see the color similarities in between them so aside from the primary blue you also have the secondary green bluish green color at the side now in regards to the design of the 36 uh, since the Jordan 31 so basically speaking they are more of doing a throwback edition or inspiration from their recent releases so the Jordan 31 was solely inspired from the Air Jordan 1 the Air Jordan 32 was based from the Jordan 2 and Obviously, what I have in my hand is the Air Jordan 36, which is or which was inspired by the Air Jordan 6 sneaker itself. How is the Jordan 36 inspired from the Jordan 6? Now, first of all, how the sneaker was shaped like. So as you can see right here, it was shaped like the Jordan 6. Obviously, that's the first reason and the usual reason uh, sneaker was inspired from but there's another thing that the 36 got from the 6 is the tongue so as you can see right here the tongue drew inspiration from the Jordan 6 on how it was shaped now the pull tab wasn't part of the Jordan 6 so this is technically new but this right here the one in the lace covering up the mid portion of the lace was inspired from the Jordan 6 which is good now, in the Jordan 6, you'll also see that there's a word Jordan, Air Jordan here. But for the 36, it is located here at the back. So, same font format, but this time it's located at the back of the tongue. For the materials that was used to make the Air Jordan 36. So, basically speaking, this was sized down versus its predecessor, which is the Air Jordan 35. So, technically speaking, this is lighter than the 35 now what makes it lighter versus its predecessor so if you see the upper portion of the sneaker well part of the upper portion of the sneaker this transparent uh, material here so this is the jacquard lino weave so for those who aren't familiar with it jacquard is a special textile design and lino weave is also called cross weaving is two yarns stitch or woven around each other to create a strong sheer fabric so that what makes this lighter than its predecessor at the same time uh, with the way it was stitched this is very breathable for the feet so that's a good sign for a performance sneaker so they had to make sure that they create a strong fabric that no matter how you know how you perform in the court uh, it will hold your movement very well so that's what the material was for now aside from the jacquard lino weave 
the upper portion of the sneaker is also part suede so we all know what suede is so it's a soft leather that is already known to have or to be part of other or previous sneakers itself so for the 36 uh, the suede is located at the toe box area so the forefront of the sneaker and toe box so it's right here on front by the lace outlet uh, around it and at the heel portion uh, the pull tab and here below and in the heel counter area as well so we all know that the pull, both pull tabs in the tongue area and the heel are also made of suede so we all know what's this for to help us wear the sneaker now aside from that uh, the portion of the tongue here also has or is made of suede so one part of the tongue here is the debut of Lucas new logo so Lucas new logo so it's designed as two sevens mirror to each other shaping as LD which is his initials Luca Doncic so compared to it, the sizing now the sizing for the Air Jordan 36 is considered to be true to size but the sneaker itself is narrow so if your foot is narrow is safe to stay with your true to size but if you're white footed it's better to assume that to go a half size up or a full size up depending on how you consider it to be comfortable in terms of how you wear it now ordinarily i would say that it's better to go to a physical store and try it out so you can be sure with your size but with the conditions nowadays it's you know safe to say that you can make a gamble regarding your size online but as much as possible try to consider the pointers regarding your uh, sizes so, so the midsole right here the outer midsole is made of pylon so this is not new to any Nike or Jordan sneakers as they have been using this for the past couple of years next is we have the Jordan Eclipse plate or we can just simply call it Eclipse plate so it goes around the back right here next here is we have the traction so traction wise it has good traction now the design here of the traction pattern it has this extra bump so for me uh, this is a good addition this could add an extra grip when you're wearing the sneaker itself so whether you be running or uh, landing from a jump something like that this could help the extra grip now here is the main event the air zoom so the sneaker itself so the 36 has the full length zoom air struggle inside so it's stitched under a cloth in the insole under the insole so this is an additional comfort and as we all know the zoom air is a big help to the user of a sneaker it's very comfortable you'll feel it uh, it's like bouncing on you know pillows something like that now but before you can take full advantage of that so let me show you the insole so the insole it's simple uh, nothing special but the insole itself is same as the kobe 6 pro Tro. so it's a memory foam i mean the design is nothing special but the materials is same as the kobe 6 pro Tro. so it's a memory fo foam and at first time you wear this it feels hard stiff so you have to break this in real well to take full advantage of the comfort that the air jordan 36 is offering to its user so to get that uh, bouncy response that uh, comfort inside you have to break the sneaker real well all right so here's the next question is the air jordan 36 a good purchase and a good addition to your collection now here are a few pointers to consider first of all is the ventilation the ventilation i mentioned earlier the materials that was used here was a lino weave uh, fabric so it has a good breathing it gives your foot uh, plenty time to breathe inside while using it no matter how long next here is the lockdown of the sneaker so in the heel counter it gives you a look uh, a good lockdown it holds your feet swaying and playing inside the sneaker won't be much of a problem next here is the comfort level uh, wearing the sneaker now the 
downside here is you have to break this in first. I mean, you won't immediately feel what the Air Jordan 36 offers on a marketing level because the insole is very stiff at the first use. Now, given that this insole was the same materials that was used for the Kobe 6 Pro Throw release, you have to use this uh, you know, multiple times before to actually feel the comfort level in terms of the zoom air, uh, the full length zoom air struggle and at the same time the eclipse plate itself. Now, another downside here is the pricing level. Now, this is the flagship sneaker of the Jordan brand and they have to really match this. No matter that no matter what materials they use this, they have to match this with the pricing level of their flagship sneaker. Now, for me, uh, it's a 50-50. I mean, as on a business level, you have to do that. But as a buyer or a, a consumer of the sneaker, you have to wonder, they should at least price this down with the materials used for the Jer Jordan 36. Sorry about that. Now, another here's a good side. So casually, it looks good. It looks good casually, right? So whether you're just going to use this casually, uh, it may not be this colorway, but you have to find the right fit for the color combination of how you wear it. Casually, this is a good choice. Uh, as of right now, I still use this for casual purposes as basketball courts are still closed. And as I did mention, I'll be doing a follow-up performance video for the 36 down in the future. Alright, so I do hope that those few pointers may help you consider on how you look at the Air Jordan 36 given that uh, there's not, not much of a performance review in this video but a follow-up will happen along the way. Alright everyone, so that's it for this episode of Sold Look. If you have any comments or reaction regarding the Air Jordan 36, please do let us know down in our comment section below. And for those new viewers, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have sneaker reviews and sneaker tips and many more to come. And also we have our social media website, Facebook and Instagram. So follow us at Soul Freaks. So before we end this video, I would like to thank everyone for taking the time to watch this and hope this video helps you in choosing to whether to buy or not to buy the Air Jordan 36. Now again, this is Tony from Sold Freaks. Just reminding everyone to stay safe and don't forget your health and keep moving forward.